Hello and welcome back to the Leather Hog channel. I'm your host, John, and today we're doing a mail call video. As I'm getting reacquainted with straight razor shaving, it's really hard to talk and be figuring out new techniques at the same time. So you'll see uh, a few more, probably these unboxing or mail call videos, even just straightforward reviews that don't necessarily uh, have me shaving and talking with you guys, but I hope you're okay with that adjustment. And really just wanna thank you in advance as things are being changed up just for a little bit in the foreseeable future. All right, so let's get right into it. The first products I want to cover is, uh, it's a first time order from the Handlebar Supply. Uh, you can see a fun little pouch here that uh, contains a free baggie of razors, I believe. Let's take a look here. Yes, we got a pack of Vosca blades. So I ordered from the Handlebar Supply because uh, a good friend in the shaving community, Ali, gave me a heads up that they restocked on this product right here. That is Panacrema Nuevia. I'm a huge fan of Panacrema Nuevia and had three out of the four scents. And that elusive blue scent was just out of stock when I was looking for it. But the handlebar supply, you know, kind of restocked. So I put in an order as well as for the new post shave or rather after shave balm. Uh, I got it in the Verde or Green scent right here. Uh, the packaging on the European soaps in general, although you know they're at the higher price, this one was I believe like $42 USD, but you know, there's a very solid box here. You open it up, there's a letter here, which is kind of like in the perspective of the soap. Uh, thank you very much for choosing me. My name is Nuevia and I was born in 2015 and it kind of gives you a bunch of instructions. You can see that uh, the folks over at the Handlebar Supply also put my name onto the card. Very nice personal touch there. Here's a soap. You can see some tissue paper, keeping it securely. Soap is securely in place. Take the insert out. This is a rather heavy glass jar. I don't know if you can hear that. The blue right here. And you can see that the soap also has a tamper proof kind of thing. If this sticker seal's broken, uh, you can probably um, be a little wary if there's any tampering done inside. And of course, let me screw off the top here and give you my first impressions. Wow, so you can see it's quite dark in there. And probably because of oxidation, made some vanillin. Uh, that's usually the soaps that have that kind of really dark chocolatey color. And this is fantastic. I did smell a sample of it, but it's a very robust, clean scent, kind of a little, a little bit of sweetness to it and some slight herbaceousness. Uh, really, really pleasant. I can't wait to use this. Next up, let's take a look at the aftershave balm here. Again, this is a new product uh, for a while. People uh, who really like the scents, I mean, you know, myself included, were hoping for some sort of post-shave product. And here, it's a pump applicator style lotion. This, I believe, you know, there's one in each matching scent. Uh, let's just pump some out, take a look. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to speak much to face feel, but that's good. It gives you kind of a nice controlled amount. So if I just swap it a little bit on. I'm really glad. I, I, that varied scent, it, uh, it's citrusy and green. That puts it on my face. <laughs> I kind of like it because it'll probably Pretty much go with anything. Uh, it's non non intrusive. Really pleasant. Applies easily. Not greasy at all. It matches the scent perfectly uh, of of the corresponding soap. This product's alcohol free. Again, it's. I think the, the texture is going to be a winner because it's not overly greasy. It's absorbing to this my skin really easily. You know, my my face, my hands. I just put a little bit on. It's, it's feeling good. So looking forward to that one as well. Next up in my mail call is kind of part of a unofficial low key resolution. And that is to explore these scent offerings and products from Phoenix Shaving uh, a little bit more this year. 
Field shaving has a large amount of sense to navigate, so uh, I put some feelers into my circles in, in the shaving community, uh, asked around for people's favorite scents. Ultimately though, I went with something that contains sandalwood, something that I just love. It's a scent note. Uh, I love to see what different artisans are gonna do with because it can vary so much. It can be cologne it can be really dry, extremely woody. So from PAA, I have here Supreme Sandalwood Science, both the soap and a matching splash here. And just look how, look how deep, deeply orange, amber in color this aftershave is. It's pretty crazy. A very distinct bottles from PAA. And let's take a step off the tub here uh, on the soap. Mm, that, that's really nice. Um, let me give you a better descriptor than the word nice here. That's a really, really rich, warm scent. It's got some sweetness. It probably leans on the more cologne side as far as saddle would go. Uh, I'm not gonna give the actual notes because I'll save that for an actual review or coverage of this product, uh, deeper coverage of this product, but I'm liking what I'm smelling. I wanna say this is gonna be a very accessible sandalwood as it's not overly dry, not overly woody, because I know those are kind of uh, two notes that can kind of overwhelm people. So I'm getting sweetness, maybe even a little spice in there. So that one is in the CK6 formula, and yeah, I get another one I'm looking forward to try. Last up for my mail call is uh, a piff from my buddy So Sharp David. Uh, please be sure to check out his YouTube channel. He's been doing this far longer than I have and been a part of the wet shaving community. I especially enjoy his coverage of new razors as uh, he gives a lot of insight uh, and a lot of just like straightforward, no nonsense opinions. But David was one of the people I reached out to uh, when asking about favorite PAA sense. I actually covered his favorite, or one of his favorites, which was Sangre de Drago. Absolutely beautiful um, dragon's blood and sandalwood scent. But he had uh, a set that he wanted to give me a try. It just passed on. It, it wasn't being put to use in his den. And that was Garden of Bali. So not only did he send over the soap, but also the matching aftershave splash. Both lightly used, not a problem at all. Also some really cool artwork on Garden of Bali. Uh, I know PAA, from what I've seen, has really cool vintage inspired, kind of pulp novel inspired uh, artwork on the various soap tubs. A lot of times we see aliens and robots, that's kind of a reoccurring theme. All right, so let's take a sniff off the tub here. I'm immediately met by a blast of uh, florals and a very strong uh, green note, vegetal. Yeah, definitely florals, like white florals on top greenness and something slightly aquatic in the background. In fact, I had my wife uh, take a sniff of this soap as well, and it reminds her of her home state of Hawaii. I forget which uh, floral note, uh, it might be gardenia or something. I know the plumeria is also um, you know, very much symbolic of Hawaii, but uh, yeah, you definitely get that tropical vibe. But the floral aspect, I think is something uh, I'm usually a little bit wary of because uh, depending how strong it'll get once lathered up, it could become quickly overpowering to my nose. Off the top here, it's just, uh, it's probably just at that limit. You know, sometimes when you lather a soap up, uh, the different scent notes can present themselves. Scent strength can, can become a little bit more robust. I'm by no means a hater of floral notes, but I am wary. There's ones I really enjoy, uh, particularly lavender and neroli, but other ones like lily and um, even, I want to say like geranium, sometimes can be a little off-putting. Either way, keeping an open mind on this one, I don't hate what I smell. It's going to be, though, something different for my uh, usual scents. And that's gonna do it for today's mail call video. I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in today. If you wanna help support the channel, you can like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Any one of those things is a huge help in trying to hit our landmark goal of 1,000 subscribers. So thank you guys again. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.